Hello everybody. Um, the last video I recorded, I taught you how to post a folder and to add files to it. And now I'm going to show you the Google alternative because in addition to converting a document to PDF to make it accessible, you can also upload it to Google, your Hopkins Apps account which um, automatically converts it into a web page which makes it 100% accessible to your users, your participants, your students and parents. So um, what I've done is I'm, I've assumed that you know how to upload a Word document to Google or your Hopkins Apps account. And if you don't know how to do that, please email me. I'm happy to give you a lesson on that as well. So I have um, created two documents here, Unit 1, Week 2, and Unit 1, Week 1, Spelling List. And what I want to do, first of all, is ultimately I want these clustered in a folder. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a collection. So if I go to My Collections, and I, which I think are going to be called folders in the future in Moodle, but I'm going to click on Create a uh, Collection and I'm going to call it Unit 1 Spelling, and I click Create. Now, in order to get those documents in there, right now you can see that I have filtered everything out except what's in there, and they're not in there yet, so I see nothing. So I'm going to click on that X, and I'm going to put a check mark in front of my two spelling lists, and this is the Organize icon in Google Drive or Google Documents, now called Google Drive. And I want to put that inside the, um, the spelling list folder if I can find it. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, there it is. So unit one spelling, apply changes. So now I have a folder and I want to uh, link to that. So in order to link to that folder, I need to make it public. So I put a check mark in front of the folder and then I am going to go to the share icon and by default, anytime you create a document in your apps account, it is uh, private. So I want to change this. So I click Change, and I want to make it available to anyone that has that link. So I click Save. So now this becomes a link that I can copy, which I will. Command C on the Mac, and then I say Done. So I have a link um, now. So I'm going to go back to my page, which is Mr. Ingham's page. And again, I'm replicating what I did here, except that um, the purpose of which is to link to something in Google or Hopkins Apps. So I turn editing on, and instead of adding a resource and choosing a folder or a file, this is now a web page. So I'm going to click on adding a URL. And this is going to be a link to unit one spelling list. Quite honestly, if I was really doing this, I would just have second grade spelling list and I'd have them all in there. But this is just unit one at this point. So the other thing I wanted to let you know is I did do a little, um, I'm going to copy this little text I wrote before I started the video um, because I wanted to paste it in the description so that you could see this because Mr. Ingham has a um, an account for all his students to use Spelling City which is a really outstanding resource for practicing for spelling tests so what I thought I would do is um, in my description I would link to Spelling City because um, that relates to obviously the spelling list so I'm going to go to Spelling City, and I've actually, my son was in his class, and so I'm logged in as, uh, as Oliver, just so that you can get a, a good idea of why this is such a nice resource, is that every time Oliver practiced at home, his records would be available to Mr. Ingham. And so, for example, you can see with Unit um, 31 here, he actually took the spelling test several times, and I believe that the last time he took it on... Um, on January 1st was the actual test in class but he, with a digital resource like this I mean he truly is a digital native he will practice the same thing over and over again first time he did that he had one two five things wrong and then several times through at the very end he 
um, completely scored a perfect score on that particular test. And it really did reinforce um, word construction for him. Um, so this is a great site. So I want to link to it. So I'm going to copy the basic URL to the page, which is Spelling City. And now in here with my editing toolbar, I can highlight that text. I can choose this um, icon to insert a link, and I want to link to that page. Again, I always want my links to open in a new window. That way my students do not leave Moodle to get to that external website. Um, in case they need to return, they don't have to battle through the back button. Alrighty, so now that is a link to the Spelling City in the description, but now I want to link to my Google, um, oops, I should close that now, my um, uh, my Unit 1 Spelling folder in Google. So it's two external links here, and I, I have to copy this again. So remember I made this public, so I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to say done. And oops, and now I'm going to paste the link to the folder in apps right here. And all of these things I can ignore and I can say save and return to the course. So now if I move that up, basically we have two equivalent things here, two different ways of making the spelling list accessible, one through apps and one by converting the files to PDFs. And now I'm going to switch my role to a student so that you can see what this looks like in that unit. And if I click on this, what I did notice is that I didn't get my description. So you may want to put that description somewhere else. I think I would have gotten it if I had uh, created a folder like this. The description appears above here. But when you do a link, um, it just goes directly to that link so you don't actually see the description. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, but this is a very nice display of a variety of folders that, excuse me, a variety of files or docs that are in a Google Apps folder. And then you could add a description for each if you wanted to. So um, that's something to consider. Now the one thing that's super nice advantage of doing it this way is that if you did change a spelling word, um, you have access as the teacher to this page. So if I was going to change that from toad to road, I do that, it auto saves and I don't have to do anything in Moodle. As long as it's in Google, that's changed and the link is still exactly the same. So you can update those files so much easier than if you were linking to a PDF because otherwise you'd have to re-upload the PDF. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to ask questions.